Matthew 19 from verse 1. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these things, he departed from Galilee and came into the coast of Judea beyond Jordan. And great multitudes followed him. And he healed them there. The Pharisees also came to him, tempting him, and said unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? And they answered and said unto them, Have we not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? And he said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave his wife a man shall leave father and mother he shall leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and the two shall be one flesh wherefore there are no more two one flesh. What therefore God have joined together. Let no man put asunder. The family is the foundation of civilization. The family is the foundation of civilization. The family is a church within a church. The family is a world within a world. The family is the building blocks of society. The family is the root and foundation of church and state. The family is like a book. The children are the pages. The parents are the cover. The concept of marriage did not originate from man. It came from God. The family is the school of human virtues. If things go right there, things go right everywhere. If things go wrong in the family, things go wrong everywhere everywhere. And this is why we keep saying there are no delinquent children. There are only delinquent parents. That is the power called the power of marriage destruction. There are specific powers delegated to pull down marriages. Unfortunately, many are not attaching serious importance to the issue of marriage. Some rush into any kind of marriage just to bear the name that they are married. And therefore, if you go to the cemetery and you count the graves of the women that are there, what killed 90% was the marriage they entered into. Others don't really care the type of marriage they get involved in. But the truth is this. Your life never remains the same after marriage. While the wedding day is for one day, the marriage is for life. Many people will help you to do the wedding. But eventually, marriage is between two people. That's why we keep telling people here that the next thing after hellfire is a bad marriage. Marriage is an institution of God. And marriage can make or mar your life. In no Yes. Certain measures. A good and godly marriage 
is the bedrock of right living. Many things have been said to us in the course of this every top Sunday teachings. I can summarize. I want I believe we have had so far. We know that the wife must submit to the husband as the end. The wife must love the husband. The wife must respect the husband. The wife must be subject to the husband. The wife must honor the husband. The wife must be faithful to the husband. The wife must be loyal to the husband. The wife must keep the secrets of the husband. The wife must never deny her husband's sex. The wife must be the best friend of her husband. The wife must support the husband. The wife must be obedient to the husband. That in a summary. What we have been hearing since in summary. In various shades and categories of words. Now the man. The man too must love the wife. The husband must be the head of the wife and not a headache. For many husbands, they are not head, they are headache. The man must honor the wife. He must provide for the wife. He must defend the wife. He must nourish the wife. Will do to Darcy, you must cherish the wife. Must, must appreciate her, commend her, and praise her. The man must accept her person. You, you were not drunk when you said you wanted to marry her. Now that you are married, you have no right to start complaining now. This is not good. You have no right to start complaining now. This is not good. 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 The man must provide for her future by making her your next of kin in any form you feel. Praise her in the presence of her children. You must be proud of her. You must discuss with her intimately and be trustworthy. And you must be a good example. That in a nutshell. What this seminar, this third Sunday has been teaching here. A lot of marriages need. Deliverance. Deliverance for marriage. It is sevenfold. Sevenfold. That is deliverance number one by salvation. If madame is not born again, husband is not born again, there is no point in saying they will not fight. They will fight. It's like you are asking a cops not to smell. The madame is not born again. Daddy is not born again. You say the man is committing fornication. Of course, he is not born again. So, deliverance by salvation. Two. Deliverance by prayers. Three. Deliverance by the word of God. Four. Deliverance by counseling. Five. Deliverance by godly advices. Six. Deliverance by knowledge. Knowledge. Because ignorance can destroy. Seven. Deliverance by character readjustment. Character readjustment. Our character cuts across every facet of our life. Your character. 
you are is what you are when nobody is watching you. Your character involves your ability to rule your desires, to rule your lust, and to rule those needs that are before you. Only she did by force the apostle and we were sire and we rode and we rode bare. Nipa tell the Kenyans to know what you are. A lot of marriages have been caged by the enemy because of lack of this sevenfold deliverance. Of all of you, you are one of the types of people who are money to the people who need and want to still make it a man of one. What are the types of marriages that need deliverance? Tini and one, you are what one need to to select. Marriages where communication has broken down. Ipe ya wani mi tiye ipe ji jo me tomoro o ti fo bi shopo marriages where the in laws have taken over. Ipe ya wani tiye ipe awon ano na wan si aposo ninu ebi marriages retained by money. Ipe ya wani tiye ipe owo lo je ko iwa sibe neglected marriages. Awon ipe ya wani ti start no time for each other. Fo lai fun ara won rara and so the marriage is fast crumbling. Marriages of actors and actresses. Both partners are pretending as if things are alright. But in private, they are fighting. They are casting. They are quarreling. But things are really, really wrong. But in private, they are fighting. Really, really wrong. Conscious world, you need to do. Marriages that never grows. I want to pay a what you would have bar. Don't grow. Oh, that marry. In the initial stage of marriage, me feel it. Me but it get me out of shape. Oh, you start to find some couple quarrelling. Eh, oh, the pay. Sometimes even fighting. Oh, kola ya. Me don't want my ni polo. But my my father want ya. As the marriage grows, but me pay a what you would have bar. They outgrow. That stage. You have grown the stage of fighting, beating, shouting. You did that during your first year of wedding. Now you have grown. You have grown things like that. Lord, do you need to see me? I will let my father in the bedroom. But don't pass the cord. I'm not going to let that bad. You rule the bedroom, baby. Marriages that third parties are caged. I want to be a what you are when the cat has to be seen. The home is controlled by mother-in-law. The home is controlled by all kinds of people. I want my Maya. What are they your call? I want to share post with it. I want to want it. I want to share post with you. A lady in this church was on her way to work. Open the corner. This little door was in. Oh Lord, see if she left. She was seeking for food on the womb. What's in what you are going to put your mom? Married. She was on her way to work that day. Oh Lord, see if she left. The mother-in-law came to visit. So she was on her way to work. She got to the bus stop. The bus did not come on time. So something said, well, use the little money in your pocket, take taxi and go. But something said, go back Go back home. Go back home. Go back home. Go back home. She said, but I'm already late. I'm going to spend the time to take you there. So she went back to the house. Oh, no, back to the house. She found that her mother-in-law was no longer in the sitting room. Where she left her. She left her. Then she began to hear strange sound in their bedroom. She rushed in. What did she see? Her husband was sleeping with his own mother. Only as they prepared to be in their matrimonial bed. I said, Madam. Yes, no way you are going to get pregnant. There's no way. What you have just seen. I said, when they saw you, what did they do? They said, they just ignored that and continued. I'm praying for you. You, the sister, that cannot marry them. You will not marry a madman. That marriage is already under a third party control. That's a shallow marriage. No true love. Just marry for beauty, for handsomeness, for shape, for the size and the gymnastics of bum bum. 
Forgetting that the bomb bomb is a waste disposal gadget. You, that's who you got to marry. When what you got married for now begins to lose shape, then problem. Abusive husbands, stubborn wives, marriages that need deliverance. Both couples into the, the two of them that are into adultery, marriages that need deliverance. Trouble marriages, sickness, satanic attacks, children's problems. They need deliverance. Beating and biting each other. We have marriages where the wife will bite off something from the body of the husband, or the, the, the husband will bite off something from the body of the wife. Polygamous marriages. All those marriages will be because of accidental pregnancy. Husbands sleeping with in laws. Marriages where when you marry. You inherit things that does not belong to you. Such marriages need the deliverance. Such marriages need foundational deliverance prayers. They need counseling. They need to listen to God's advice. And I'm praying that this morning, the Lord God who instituted this institution will cut your home to become heaven and earth in the name of Jesus. And if the enemy has already put a divide between you and your partner. May the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ shake down that barrier in the name of Jesus. Rise to your feet now. Rise to your feet now. And sing this song louder than anyone here. Go, so class the chorus. We are the Kenyans. Let your voice be loud. I echo when you lost Sophie. In my life, in my life, that's a great divine love. 